Hello, welcome to another video where we go over calculating volume. Here we're asked to calculate the volume of the solid that's generated by rotating the region between the line y equals x over 2 and the curve y equals root x. And this is rotated about the y axis. So you got to get a good drawing first, of course. Um, y equals root x is the upper part of a parabola turned on its side. Y equals x over 2 is a line that goes through the origin, just better probably written as y equals 1 half of x. So we graph that, and we find that the region that we're trying to find, the, um, rotate to find uh, the volume of the solid is this region here, and we're rotating this around the y-axis. There's a discernible gap between our region and the axis, so we must then um, use washer method. The actual 3D shape, if you imagine rotating that, looks something like this. And uh, since we are slicing perpendicular to the axis of rotation, then our slices are going to be horizontal. So this is going to be done in terms of Y. Well, we have uh, Y equals X over 2, so that means that X is equal to 2Y. That's the horizontal distance that takes you off the y axis to the line. What about the horizontal distance that takes you off the y axis to the curve, the root curve? Well, that's x equals as well, square both sides. It's x equals y squared. So, to find the inner radius, and the outer radius, we're going to make sure that we just come off the axis and go through the region for the outer radius, come off the axis and go up just to the region for the inner radius. The, the, the closer curve is the x equals y squared. The further away line is x equals 2y. Go from the axis through the region to get the outside radius, 2y. Go from the axis just up to the region to get the inside radius, y squared. Well, this is a nice integral. We're going to set this up by um, squaring the outside radius, subtracting what we get by squaring the inside radius, integrating from some low y to some high y. And we're going to find those bounds by seeing where these curves intersect each other. We're interested in the y values. So let's take the y version of the equations. We definitely could take the x version, but no, it's better off taking the y version. Where would 2y be equal to y squared? Quadratic, so set it equal to 0. We have y squared minus 2y, so we factor that. And each one, either y is 0 or y minus 2 is 0. So we have it. We have everything we need. It's the integral from 0 to 2, where basically we have it an outer disk pi r squared minus an inner disk pi r squared. Pull the pi out, do it in one integral though. And I'm sure you could take it from here. The setup is then you're going to square, then subtract, and then you're going to integrate. 2y quantity squared is 4y squared. y squared quantity squared is just y to the fourth. Nice, simple integral. Work it out and you'll find out that the answer is 64 pi over 15. If you need help with the intermediate part, just go ahead and look at this, the steps that I put in there, and, um, and that should be it. This is our last video on washer. The next video is going to be the concept video for shell method, and then a bunch of examples on shell, and then we'll get to the end of this series. Thank you so much for watching. This is a short video, just the one example. Um, please uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. My name is Nakai Rimmer. And uh, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Thank you very much.